In this video we're going to find a solution for the equation, so we'll just do these three equations. Now what that means is if you have 5 times n equals 15, to find a solution for this equation you need to give the value of n. In other words, n is a number. 5 times what number would be 15? And another way to think about letters is imagine them as boxes because this is simply 5 times box equals 15. What would you write into that box to give the right answer? right? Well, 5 times 3, isn't it? So you'd say n has to be 3. n equals 3 is the solution to that equation. What's the solution to this equation? 27 equals 9 times x. Now, note that in algebra we use x a lot to represent the unknown number, or the letter, the variable. Okay, So that's why we often don't use this x sign for, as a multiplication symbol. Okay, so you've got 27 equals 9 times a box. What would you plug into that box so that this equation is true? What's the value of x? Write down the answer. x equals 9 times what gives 27? 9 times 3 again, right? Whoops. Gave the same answer. So the solution for this one is also 3. x equals 3. How about this one? What's the solution to this equation? x times what equals 8? Or sorry, x times 8 equals 0. What's x? I cannot read. So it's like box times 8 equals 0. What would you plug into that box to make the equation true? What times 8 gives 0? The answer has to be 0, right? So x equals 0 is the solution. x equals 0.